I think it's essential for any kind of education to be outside of the classroom, to have hands-on experience because it's completely different than just reading a book. It's different actually being out here and understanding the kind of elements it takes to be an archaeologist. As a student majoring in the social sciences, you're constantly reading studies of, that um, are using this kind of field data. So I think it is a valuable experience to go out and do that kind of research yourself uh, as a student, just to understand where this is coming from. And the whole process of, of doing research is part of academia. One of the major problems in doing field archaeology is accurately recording the information that you want to have. And by uh, using the tablet PC, I was hoping that I would make it both uh, easier and more accurate to record data because you don't have to copy it over once you've recorded it, which is always the step at which data tends to get degraded. We think it's been occupied for at least 6,000 years, maybe longer. So what we're aiming for in our excavation is to figure out how the shelter, whether the shelter was used and how it was used in the prehistoric period. And we pick it up. So while we're beginning to excavate, uh, Shane is taking notes on the tablet PC, and what he's doing now is recording the surface of the square. What she's doing is taking overall notes of the site so that we know what's going on today. We cataloged everything into the computer so that it was all nice and neat, so that later when we were like, oh, look, here's an arrowhead, where did it come from? We knew exactly where it was. You should better take a note of that, Nadine. Let's measure it in. So they basically did a complete record of the excavation on the tablet PC. I could then take that record and put together all of the layers of the excavation onto a single screen so that I could both see what went on and also put all the notes that what went on with each square without having to copy it over again, which you have to do if you've done it on paper and, with paper and pencil. With this class particularly for the archaeological field work, teamwork was really essential. You needed somebody to dig, you needed someone to sift, you needed someone to chart things on the HP tablet. A field archaeology class with a small group of people was really helpful because you're using a lot of these technologies for the first time and it's really hands-on, allowing you to, to really explore your own limits and understandings while having your professor there to guide you really gives you a more in-depth understanding of how to get the methodology of archaeology to work with for you.